the most important thing to us as young architects setting up a business is the weight of responsibility that buildings have within climate change. 42% of UK carbon emissions is from the construction industry and we're part of that. We want to be part of making that shift from a kind of steel and concrete world to timber and zero carbon and kind of reclaimed materials. Hi, I'm Jo. And I'm Jack. And we run Additional Studio in Manchester. So this was our first project to redesign this derelict balloon shop that hadn't really been used at all for 10 years. We sort of did as little as possible, not using more materials than were necessary. And I suppose that's a kind of approach that we then apply to a lot of our projects, a sort of less is more attitude. It's a studio where we work. It's an exhibition space. It's really a space to allow conversations to happen. A lot of our work is looking at building reuse and at taking redundant buildings and trying to give them a new lease of life or a new purpose, which is very much what's happened in the case of campaigns like the Chawton Picture House. It's a project that we've been working on in the studio with Chawton Community Land Trust. They came in and they asked us to do some work to communicate the potential of this building. You could walk past it without noticing it, and I think lots of people did, but a group of people had realised that there was amazing potential and kind of historic value in this building. It was the first place the Bee Gees ever performed live. Hundreds of people coming together and all bidding to buy this local landmark, and amazingly, they outbid the developers to kind of invest in their own town and their own high street. A lot of that project was about revealing what was there, so removing the kind of outer skin of the building um, to show this kind of really impressive public landmark and bringing that back into the public sphere. Through community activism and architecture, we've managed to save this building. And from an environmental perspective, that's like a huge victory for us. People can actually come in and see what architects do and participate in that. The shop has really evolved into more of an educational space for discussion and understanding for everyone and anyone in the community to kind of walk in and learn more about architecture. Coming in and being able to understand like a fragment of a building and how that's made. But also how that then fits into the idea of how cities become more sustainable and how we reduce car use and how we more effectively recycle or reuse products. It all connects into a more sustainable way of life. We really try to advocate for the value of design in our everyday lives.